Hi, I'm Fawn Chamber Watkins. And I'm Derek Fonzer of Bentley Watkins. And, and we, we support, support Ending, Ending Violence, Violence Against, Against Women, the HBCU Project. Um, attending an HBCU prepared me to really embrace my potential for greatness. And being in an HBCU, I was surrounded with people that looked like me, that um, had my same kind of experience, that experience that is kind of difficult to explain. And to be around those that were in the top of their class, just like I was in the top of my class, and here we all were together cultivating excellence, it just really prepared my mind to recognize that I'm not any different than anyone else. That we all have the same wonderful attributes to offer the world. Yeah, I, um, to echo that, you know, the HBCUs obviously were created to give you know, Af African Americans an education. And I think continuing in that tradition, they really prepare this community for, to be the best and the brightest before they go out into the world. So for me, um, and you know, I did well scholastically in high school, athletically, but to then be around just everybody who, you know, man, that dude bad, like, you know, he, he's tight. That was the word we said on campus, he's tight. Like, are you tight yet? But just to see how tight folks were just across the board um, was just really something inspiring. And, you know, for me, now in the professional world, I've met people from all walks of life in different genres from politics to fashion to New York, I'm sorry, to television and film. There's always an HBC grad, you know, the national press secretary for the DNC mm -hmm. went out, you know, and um, I just happened to be campaigning and on the bus. And it was just so cool and refreshing, not only her, but the regional press secretary. No, she actually went to fame, on my bad. The she went to fame. The, the, the regional went to Howard. So it was just very interesting. It, you instantly have a different level in, uh, of connection. Freshman year was probably one of the most liberating experiences in my entire life. First of all, no curfew, so I just start there. <laughs> but um, going to Lower Manly, which is on Spelman's campus, and going to the yard there at Clark, and it was just, it was just amazing. This was what, really the first time to, to really be surrounded with folks from so many different cultures. And I say that because folks from Cali have a completely different culture than the folks from the DC metro area, from the folks from the Midwest. And to see all of these cultures just crash together where everybody's there for excellence was just, it was like sensory overload. And so, it was fun.